<laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome to NHL 21 Franchise Mode where we are taking on the role of the Seattle Krakens Expansion Draft. Yeah, we're doing it one year early because the rosters aren't really set. Free agency just it, like just started. I know the NHL Draft hasn't even concluded. I think today was the last day of the NHL Draft. So I'm not even sure if rookies have even been assigned to a roster or a team yet uh, to begin with. So instead of just starting uh, with the basic rosters and a bunch of guys in free agencies and teams not complete, uh, I'm going to be doing this in the meantime. So let's just start advancing on up. So, well, I figured I'd take a moment to welcome you to the Seattle Kraken, uh, Krakens franchise. You have your plate full with the upcoming expansion draft but i'll touch base again in a few days before the draft itself after i get a sense of who the other teams are going to make available that would be very helpful actually to know who's available before we go into the draft anyway, probably affect our drafting too oh crap lottery fuck uh Okay, number one goes stays with Detroit. Anaheim moves from six to two. Okay, okay, so this is the, so it's the exact same seating as, as real life. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we got the the real life seating. Wait, is that the real life seating? No, Rangers won number one. Never mind. This is not the real life. Oh, all right. Detroit stays at one. Anaheim moved up from six to two. The New York Rangers moved from 11 to three. Ottawa falls back from two to four. Us from three to five. Ottawa four to six. Los Angeles Kings five to seven. New Jersey seven to eight. Buffalo eight to nine. Minnesota nine ten. Winnipeg, it moved from 10 to 11. Nashville 12 it has the 12th pick, Florida has the 13th, Carolina 14, and Edmonton at 15. So we have the fifth overall pick in this draft. That's still a pretty, it's a pretty solid pick still. Uh, so NHL expansion draft. So pretty much the decision you make in the expansion draft tomorrow will decide whether the franchise sinks or swims in its first year. I'll be keeping a close eye on your decisions, as will the fans. Yeah, please do. Please, please do that. Because I think I would love to do that thing. Uh, so let's begin the expansion draft. So let's see who's available, what each team. I know Vegas is the only team... Uh, that doesn't have to s protect players, if I'm correct. Yeah, Vegas doesn't have to because they're a newer expansion franchise, and you know you gotta give them a fair shot, I guess. Even though they're Stanley Cup contenders almost every year. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go on through. I'm gonna select the team, and, and then we will meet up uh, after the roster is selected. <laughs>
so we have made our selections. I think, looking at paper anyways, this team seems to have pretty good chemistry with the coach. That's basically what I went on for a lot of these picks is, do they match my, coax, uh, my coach's chemistry and, and where on what lines? Uh, Forward-wise, we're, we're not the greatest. We're not the greatest uh, chemistry-wise on forward. We're going to need to address that in free agency. Defensively, we're pretty set, and I love our goaltenders. Uh, so we're just going to go team by team. Uh, so first pick, we went with Sonny Milano, left winger from the Ducks. Then Carl Granlin from the Coyotes. Jacob DeBrusque from Boston. Brandon Montour from Buffalo. Michael Backlund from Calgary, Jake Bean from uh, the Hurricanes, Andrew Shaw from Chicago, Vladimir Nemesnikov from the Avalanche, Boone Jenner from the Columbus Blue Jackets, uh, Dennis Gurianov from Dallas, Adam Ernie from the Red Wings, Adam Larson from the Oilers, Mike Hoffman from the Panthers, Jonathan Quick from the Los Angeles Kings, Alex Galchenyuk from the Minnesota Wild. Uh, I think it's Nick Yulson from the Mo uh, Montreal Canadiens, uh, Kyle Turris from the Nashville Predators, Nathan Bastian from the New Jersey Devils, Joshua Hongsang from the New York Islanders, Alex Guriagov. Gorgiev from the New York Rangers, uh, Max Lejoy from the Ottawa Senators, Isaac Radcliffe uh, from the Philadelphia Flyers, Justin Schultz from the Pittsburgh Penguins, Josh Roy from the San Jose Sharks, Alex Petriangelo from the St. Louis, uh, yeah, St. Louis Blues. Miguel Sergachev from the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tyson Berry from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Jaco <laughs> Jacob Markstrom from the Vancouver Canucks. Richard Panic from the, uh, from the Washington Capitals. And then Sammy Niku from the Winnipeg Jets. So all in all, it wasn't that bad of a draft, in my opinion. We addressed a lot of needs, and pretty much everywhere was a need. But the the quality of players that we were able to pick up, I mean, even if we don't want to keep them, we could offer them as trade bait, trying to get them more picks in this year's draft. Who really knows? Let's get into the draft interviews, though. So what's up, boys? Alexis Lafreniere in here. Tim Stultz is in here as well. Uh, they're saying that we should go after Lucas Raymond, Alexander Holtz, or Quinton Byfield. All right, well, uh, I'll interview Byfield, see what, what's up with him. Uh, let's talk about your skills, Byfield. Uh, sure, uh, I would like to talk about nothing. Never mind. That's not what I want to do. Um, play style. Uh, let's talk about play style. Uh, how ready do you think you are for the NHL? Huh? How ready? Uh, I feel I am right on the cusp of com uh, competing in the NHL, but maybe a year development would help. All right, so about one year away for Quentin Byfield. That wouldn't be too bad. And what, what's your play style? Uh, can you give me a quick breakdown on how you play? Uh, I am a strong forward who likes to drive to the net while wearing down the other team's defensemen. So a, a kind of a power forward, uh, I guess, Byfield would be. And um, let's talk about your personality. What type of personality are you? What type of personality do you have? How do how would you describe it? Are you good? Uh, I am consum consummate professional, <laughs> and I get along with everyone. Okay, good, 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 good. It's it's always important that you don't have any cancers in the locker room. All right, I will talk to you later, Byfield. That is a very interesting topic. He's ranked eighth. Central scouting has him going eighth. And, yeah. Oh, if we could get our hands on Byfield, that would be huge. Uh, we'll do we'll do Holtz as well. Uh, Cole Perfetti. 
Uh, yeah, we'll do... What do we want to do? We'll do both Holtz and Raymond. And, and then we'll get on into the draft. Because that's these are the guys they're telling us to do. So again, we're going to, just offer, we're going to ask the exact same questions. Uh, what's your play style? Uh, as a forward, I feel I'm competent at both ends. Okay, so Alexander Holtz is a two-way uh, player. And how ready do you think you are? I feel I'm ready to make an impact in the NHL now. Oh, so Holtz is actually thinking that he is better than Byfield. Uh, I did not mean to hit that. Uh, no, new topic. I meant to ask you about your personality. I need to make sure that you, you're not a cancer. Uh, how would you describe your personality? Um... I don't tend to get very bent out of shape about anything, and I am very loyal. I think I have a well-rounded personality. Okay, yeah, I would agree. I would agree that that is a, a just fine, po that's a good, pol uh, not policy, a good idea to have with him. A personality, a good personality to have. I think he has a good personality. Uh, Lucas Raymond, again, just same same things. How would you describe your 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 play style. Um, my my shot is my best asset. I think to use it as much as possible. I put the puck in the net for you. So Lucas Raymond is a sniper. All right. Uh, how ready do you think you are? I feel I'm ready to make an impact in the NHL now. Okay. Uh, so pretty much the top seven, the top ten this year is actually really full. So we might want to actually flip a player if we can and get a better pick what kind of personality are you i don't tend to get better on shape okay well-rounded personality uh time is up raymond let's get on into this draft where i mean i'm serious we might have to make a trade um it might have to happen I don't know where we would or who or where we would trade anybody, but let's get to the draft interview. Uh, we already did this. Cool. Cool. We already did it. We already did the draft interview. Uh, okay. Well, advance a day. And NHL expansion draft. Uh, so the expansion draft is behind us. So now we have a core of players to build around. Next up is the NHL entry draft once it is complete i'll touch base with you again in a few months to discuss my expectations for the franchise and you in particular uh i'm not going to edit my trading block uh i'm not going to do that uh and let's get right on into the nhl draft so like we so we have the fifth overall pick so uh fine trade no, 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 Um, let's go and view the trading block, see if anyone's, anyone of interest is up in that trading block. Any big name players? Anaheim, they got some death, that's it. Nothing out of Arizona, Boston. Okay, Boston's got some youngins. Yeah, yeah, Boston's trying to buy right now. Draft picks for you, Buffalo. Mm, TJ Brodeen. Calgary would improve our team. Yeah. We already have Andrew Shaw. It's just very interesting to see who's here. Like, there's opportunities to improve the depthness of our team. It's just, are we going to win with, with the depth, and who are we going to give up? Like I said, I want to try to get another top 10 pick. Jared Spurgeon, Zach Parise, Stahl, Koivu. Oh, my God. God, that Minnesota fucking set. Montreal selling big too. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Subim. Palmieri. Bobby Ryan. All right. Philly. Pittsburgh. No. Yeah, Vlasic. Thornton. Kane. Robin Leonard, Nicholas Roy. Yeah, nothing else really. So there's opportunities for us to move up. I mean, not move up, but there's opportunities for us to trade for better players. Um, per anyways. Ah, oh, fuck. So the the lowest that we could trade up is the 11th pick. That's the only. That's the first one that they're willing to give up. The pick is number number 11. All right, so Alexis Lafrenet, uh, unknown everywhere, goes to the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, the Anaheim Ducks are going to select, who is this? Uh, Bradley Venkatien. Uh, where is he? I can't tell where he's from, but he's a left winger. Uh, he was taken at number two. Uh, pick number three is going to be from the Rangers, right winger Christopher Alenko. Okay. Ottawa Senators at pick number four. They're going to take Vasily Panamarev. And now it's our pick at pick number five. We could go with Tim Stultz. Center left wing from Dell. 18. There's also Holtz, Raymond, and Byfield. Um, I didn't think Stutz, Stultz would fall for to us, which is why I didn't uh, I didn't go for him. I am gonna go with Stultz. Tim Stultz is gonna be our first ever selection. Welcome Tim Stultz to the Seattle Krakens. All right, Ottawa pick number six is gonna be Lucas Raymond. The Los Angeles Kings, pick number seven, is going to be Alexander Holtz. The New Jersey Devils are going to take Quinton Byfield. All right. So let's take a look at the draft class. That was about all of the top-end talent. Now we're getting into, like, maybe just outside. William Wallander, Marco Rossi. If I was able to pick up Marco Rossi or Cole Perfetti... That would be pretty big. Keenan Ghoul, too. Uh, Jamie Drysdale. Yeah, so I have a few that I would like to try to go after. Jamie Drysdale is going to be one of them. Pick number 24. Uh, and then, I, th I mean, I'll mark them down. Uh, Colt. Uh, Cole Perfetti, Marco Rossi, uh, anyone else maybe? I would like to get Alexander Malkin, no. Mike Hewitt. Uh, Keaton Cool. Maybe build up more defense, but we're pretty deep on defense is the thing. Uh, how about goalies? What are, what are goalies looking like? 52 it's supposed to be the first goalie, really. Kerry Peronin. That's a late for goalies. Jeez. Jesus. All right, Sim pick. Minnesota Wilder can take. Uh, who is this? Uh, Anton Lundell. The Buffalo Sabres are going to take Cole Perfetti. Or Perfetti. All right, all right. So here we are. Now we're getting into trade territory. If we want to trade for Marco Rossi. Uh, let's see, is Winnipeg wanting anything of ours uh, that we're willing to part ways with? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Scouting, all right. So they want Sonny Milano, Joshua Hosang, uh, Adam Larson, Backlund, Turius. I think we'd have to go with Alex Petriangelo, but that would put him over the cap. So then I would need someone coming back, which I'm not really big on anyone there. Uh, 
Maybe Mike Hoffman. Maybe we give up on Mike Hoffman. Trade Mike Hoffman for the Winnipeg Jets first. Uh, we could live with what you're sending us, but not in this deal. Your offer is woefully insufficient when I consider the value of what we're asking. Okay. Uh, well, then I will also send you a fourth round pick. How's that? Uh, woefully insufficient still. All right. How about a third? Okay, so you're, you're just not going to do this. All right, that's fine. That's uh, perfectly fine. Sim pick. Strange. All right, maybe we'll have better luck with the Nashville Predators. All right, what's up, Preds? What's up, buddy? Um, I would like to offer you... Uh, where was he? Mike Hoffman. I'd like to offer you Mike Hoffman for that pick. No? Okay. We'll try the same thing, a fourth, and then if that doesn't work, a third, woefully insufficient. Okay. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. There we go. Third, nope, just, no, no, not gonna work. Okay. Okay. Well, Marco Rossi goes number 12 to the Nashville Predators. The Florida Panthers are going to take Connor Zary. All right. Hurricanes are going to take William Wallander. The Edmonton Oilers are going to take, I think this is Ale Alexander Malkin. Yeah. Pittsburgh Penguins are going to take Matt Mike Hewitt. We're going to take Mike Hewitt. Montreal Canadiens are going to take Foudy. Jean-Luc Foudy. Sounds French, so I'm sure that's why they took him. The Chicago Blackhawks are going to take Justin Sordiff. The New Jersey Devils are going to take Ghoul. Caden Ghoul. The, <laughs> the Calgary Flames are going to take Kenneth Corey. All right, and then the New Jersey Devils are going to pick again Justin Barron. The Columbus Blue Jackets are going to take Zane Holtby. The Ottawa Centers are going to take Brandon Schneider. The Dallas Stars are going to take Rosalind Vazianov. The uh, New York Rangers are going to take Jamie Drysdale. Okay. Philadelphia Flyers are going to take Ryan O'Rourke. And San Jose Sharks are going to take Theo Roche. Rochette. Colorado Avalanche are going to take Jeremy Poirier. The, Va oh, the Vegas Golden Knights are going to take Dawson Mercier. The Capitals are going to take... Uh, is this Ryan? Ridley Gregg. The Anaheim Ducks are going to take Ralph Karen. And then the St. Louis Blues. Who are they going to take? They are going to take Noel Gundler. And that's going to do it. So now I'm just going to start moving a little bit quicker in this draft now that we got the first round out of the way. Uh, Sim to pick 35. Yes. This is where we're going to take a late first rounder. They got Jacob Peralt. Yeah, we'll take left winger Jacob Peralt from the Sarnia Sting at pick number 35. I feel like that's a safe pick. Simulate up to pick number 67. Yep, round three. Let's see. Marco Jarvis, Igor Chibro uh, Chib Chibrikov. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to need a defenseman. Ryan Francis... Cross Hannes. Jack Finley. Why does that name sound familiar? Or do we go with the goaltender, Dallas Mickelson? I think we go with the goaltender. He's 17 years of age in the third round. All right. We're, we're going to take the goaltender. All right. He's the future. He's the future. This is us building our future five years from now. 
Uh, Jack Van de Leest. Hmm, no. Lucas Cormier. Lucas Fitchlot. All right. Jan Mizek. Brandon Versies. Zach Terry. Maybe hmm. yeah, I guess we're going to have to take a defenseman with this pick. Um, do we have anything to really report on any of them? No, nothing. Uh, so we really only know their competition level. Uh, they're telling me to take uh, Jackson Vandalise. So I will take him. I'll take Jackson Vandalise. Uh, that's what our scouts are telling us to take. So I'll take him. I guess this is where we got to start uh, trusting in our scouts. Um, actually... Damon Hunt. Actually, why don't we call a timeout Oops. and we try to flip these picks for players. The 5th, 6th, and 7th round pick. Nothing really truly comes from them usually, and I know nothing about this draft. So maybe, let's try to find a trade for a 5th round pick. Draft picks for our fifth round pick. You know, we'll do fifth, sixth, and seventh. All three of them. No trades were found. All right. Fifth and sixth. Halak, Boston's third. Calgary with Eric Gustafson. Geis, uh, two third round picks next year. Chris Tanev. Uh, Rob, they would give us fucking Robin Leonard in a sixth for this. Are you fucking... I mean, no, I can't do that. I can't do that trade. No, oh, I can't fucking take that trade. All right, just for the fifth. Just for the fifth, we get a fifth and a seventh, fifth and a sixth. Travis Hamanick in a fifth. Eric Gustafson in a seventh. Mm, and Kantu Dobin, sixth and a seventh. Fifth and Mike Smith, fifth and a seventh. 6th and 7th, 6th and 7th, 5th and 7th, 6th and 7th. Grice, Islanders, Blackhawks. I'm kind of, again, fucking with this Robin Leonard bullshit. They would not give me Robin Leonard for a... F <coughs> oh, pardon me for that. I'm actually really considering this Travis Hamannick trade. That's actually very enticing. Travis Hamannick, yeah, he's on a one-year deal. Uh, he'd fit on our top four lines, which is one of our needs. I I think this is a good trade. Plus, we get that fifth-round pick net back next year, except it's Calgary. So I'm going to take it. Perfectly f happy to accept this with the Calgary Flames. Now we're going to do it again with our sixth and seventh-round pick. All right, let's see. Maybe we, we can walk out of here. With just the steal of the draft. We're trying to build a team that will win right now, too. A fifth, a fifth, a fourth. Uh, Eric Gustafson. TJ Brody. Oh, they're going to give me TJ Brody now. They're pretty much just handing me their defense. Yeah, 84, elite. Yeah, defensive pairing, top three. Ah, uh, how tempting it may be. It is not what I am looking for. Uh, but if I do if I do not see anything more interesting, I am going to take that trade. Yeah, I will take that trade for TJ Brody if I don't find anything else here. Again, just Mike Smith, fifths, bunch of fifths, Christ. Christina, Robin Lanner. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to have to take TJ Brody in a sixth. I will accept this trade. TJ Brody and a sixth for a sixth and a seventh round pick from the Calgary, from the Calgary Flames. I have to do it. It gives us cap. It gives us good star quality players. All right. Uh, I now want to shop around though. Alex Petriangelo. Um, I think think that is going to be our big selling point. It's 
going to be Alex Petriangelo. Because, yeah, he's a top two defenseman, which would really help. The only problem is, for our coach, he matches... He only matches the third line. So I don't know how he's going to do. So I'm very interested. What, if they're, what are they going to give us for this? Here also have a lock, a third. Oh, they're not giving a shit for him. No, I'm, I'm holding on to him. All right, so that's going to be it for this draft. We walked away pretty good. We got some solid prospects, I think. Uh, and then on top of the prospects, we picked up two defensemen. We picked up two defensemen as well. And they're quality defensemen. The, the only question is, will they re-sign with us? Tim Stultz, Paralalt, um, Mickelson, and Vandalest. I mean, all taken in top 100. I think those are going to be some great, great rookies um, to have on our team. Tim Stultz, I think, is going to be an immediate impact on our team. Uh, so let's go over to the contracts and let's see what we can... Oh, what's the damage? Because a lot of our guys, actually, we have to re-sign. We kind of are setting ourselves up for how much cap space we want in this. Uh, so let's let's see here. Let's start off with goaltenders, actually. So Jakob Mark, uh, yeah. Markstrom, he doesn't even want an extension with the team. We do have Jonathan Quick and Alex Gor uh, Gorgiev. Let's, I leave, yeah, let's offer a contract to Gorgiev. He wants two years at 1.283. I think that's a perfectly fair deal. If, it'll allow us to gauge where uh, Gorgiev really is uh, on the team. So we're going to take it. Alex Gorgiev, we're going to offer you a two-year deal. Uh, Markstrom, we have to offer him at least something. Uh, a five. He wants a five-year contract for 6.25. Uh, that'll bring him until he's 35. I'm not really interested in that kind of a commitment. How about three years at 5'7", at 5'8"? Three years at $5.8 million because you don't want to sign with us, so I'll give you a little bit more money. Uh, and then I'm also very interested in what Dallas uh, Mickelson overall truly is. Um, so I'm actually going to sign him. Uh, and if anything, he can just play in our AHL affiliation um, until, or or maybe he can just, I don't know, go back to playing college. I don't know if I can send him there. I don't think I can. Uh, but now over to defensemen. This is where it's going to get really tricky. Uh, Miguel, Miguel Sergachev, without a doubt, needs to get a contract. And he just doesn't need to get any old contract. A five-year contract uh, expires with the restrictive free agency. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Let's see if we can try to sign him for, like, just six mil, though. A little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper. All right. Uh, Sammy Niku, uh, what are you thinking? I don't really want that. I'll give you a two-way contract for one year at, uh, 0.875. Uh, how about that, Niku? And then we'll go over to Roy. What does Roy want? He wants two years minor league deal. I'm fine with that, Roy. I'm fine with the minor league deal. Uh, Hulson, I think you're a top six defenseman right now, actually. Um, so I understand why you're off, why you're asking for this kind of money. So I'll give you three years at two mil. Uh, Brandon Montour, 82. Mm. Yeah, this is where things are going to get rather interesting. Uh, TJ Brody. Yeah, we should probably... Oh, no, Tyson Berry. Yeah, Tyson Berry needs to get signed. Uh, five-year contract. Yeah. Yeah, for a guy like Tyson Berry, a five-year contract probably about right. And we'll try to sign him a little bit cheaper at a 4.8 million dollar deal. Uh, along with this, we, we have to offer a contract to Alex Petriangelo. I do not want to go with eight years for Alex Petrangelo. He is a guy, though, that I would understand going into his later years. I will sign him till he goes into his 35th year. All right, when he's 35 years old, he's done. I don't want anything farther or any farther commitment uh, past that, and we're actually going to offer him at 7-7 seven, seven, uh, as well. Uh, let's see. There's also Schultz, Brody... Might have to actually let some of these guys walk. 
just because of how many guys we actually have. One, two, three. Yeah, and then there's still three more of you. Mm. Defensive defenseman, two-way, 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 offense, defense. Two-way, two-way, two-way. Okay. We'll come back to defensemen soon. Uh, Dennis Gurianov, yep, you're going to get a contract extension. Um, yeah, I'll do two years. I'll do exactly what you want, two years. Uh, Joshua Hosang, uh, he wants a minor league deal for one year. I'll take that as well. So that's it for right wingers. Left wingers, uh, Jacob DeBrusque, uh, three-year contract at 3.72. Yep, that sounds fair to me, DeBrusque. I'll give you that. Adam Ernie. Uh, one year at 1.3. We'll wait for you. Nemesnikov will be up in our team. Uh, let's do a three-year contract at 2.45 with Nemesnikov. Three years at 2.45. That should be about right. Then we'll get Mike Hoffman. He wants an eight-year deal again. I'm not really interested in him. And he's not the same player as Petriangelo. Um, so I'm really only willing to go three years with Mike Hoffman uh, compared to Petriangelo, and I'll give him $7.5 million uh, per year. Centers, Alex Galchenyuk, yes, sir. Uh, Five-year contract for that much. We'll move it down to a 4.25, not really saving us much, but we'll, we'll offer that. Give Tim Stoltz a contract uh, along with per Peralt. Yep, and then we'll sign our rookie defenseman as well. Jacob, yep, we'll offer all those guys contracts to the team. And let's advance it up a day, see what's going to happen here. Uh, Sammy Niki, uh, Niku resigns. Jacob Rusk resigns. Uh, Nemesikov decided to request. Uh, reject. I've decided to test the free agent markets. Some more money might change my mind. Fuck you. Uh, Gurianov renews. Hoffman renews. Galchenyuk renews. Alex Gorgiev renews. Although I'm interested in the principle of an extension, I'm going to reject this offer at this dollar value. I'd re-sign, but I want to win now, and I don't think that this team has what it, ha uh, has what it takes to do so. More money more per may persuade me. So I, I just offered him too little money, Alex uh, Petriangelo. That's the only thing. Uh, Miguel Sergachev's re-signs, although I'm interested in if I'm going to win, I want to win. All right, so we offer too little money for to Tyson Berry as well. Markstrom uh, decided to re-sign with us. Joshua Hosang's re-signed with us. Noah is Julesson re-signed. Jeremy Roy re-signs. Uh, Peralt signs with us, too. And we get all of our rookies. All of our rookies sign. Great. Great. Let's go over contracts again. We got 11 mil in cap space left. And we got a lot of defensemen uh, still standing. So goalies were set. Um, defensemen, we are staggered. Yes, we're very staggered. Uh, Petriangelo and Barry are my top priority uh, at the moment. Uh, five years at five mil. Five years at five mil. Uh, Petriangelo, again, uh, just five years at 8.15. Yeah, sure, I'll offer that contract to you. Uh, so Petriangelo and Barry will offer you two both those contracts. Please sign. Uh, Petriangelo rejects and Tyson Barry rejects. Both of them wanting more money. Um, well, the problem is you guys are taking all of our money, so we're not going to really be able to do anything in free agency. Uh, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Brandon Montour, what are they, two-way. Travis Hamanick, I want to re, I want to resign Travis Hamanick. Uh, six years contract, no, I'm not really interested in that. Um, a three-year contract, I'll do that for the same price. So half the amount of years, Hamannick, I think that's a fair deal for you. Three-year contract. Uh, Brand Montour, not sure yet. Uh, Justin Schultz, yeah, offensive defenseman. I'll take a, I'll take a shot at you. Three years at 4.75. That's fine. 
Uh, we'll see where we what we can do. Uh, we we'll see what we can do from there. Uh, advance up a day. Uh, Hammock rejects. Schultz accepts though. So we get oh Jesus. Uh, so we get Schultz, which is good. We did not get Hamannick. So we now have an offensive defenseman in our mitts. We now are at 7.785. Uh, so that pretty much rules out that we will not be getting Petriangelo. We're going to we're going to make a qualifying RFA offer on Montour. So that way, if someone does pick him up, we get something. Um, and Hamannick. Yeah, I, I need at least two more defensemen out of this. It's the thing. Right wings, left wings. Yeah, Adam Ernie. You no, know, Adam Ernie might just have to be the guy. If Mesikov wants to walk, fine. We'll bring in Ernie. It's perfectly fine with me. Two years at three mil. We'll still offer you a contract, though. Um, and then we st we just got to figure out where people are, st are lying. Uh, five mil for five years. Like I said, that's a fair deal for Brody. I, I mean, uh, Brodine. Uh, and then Brody wants six years, which I will not offer him. I will offer him a three-year deal at that price. And Hamannick. Uh You will not be getting that deal. You'll get three years at the exact same price as well. So that is how we'll work it, I guess. Yeah. See who accepts. We offered everyone a contract. Hamannick rejects. Uh, Brody rejects. Uh, Nemesikov rejects. Adam Ernie accepts. Brody rejects as well. So everyone's rejecting because they want more money. These money hounds. I'm trying to steal all my money. What the fuck, dude? Like, why? Why are you doing this to me? Look at all these things. Meskov's going to have to walk. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's going to have to happen. Uh, Montour, we're going to keep restricted. And then we're just going to have to figure something out here. I want TJ Bro uh, Tyson Berry. I think Tyson Berry would be a huge upgrade to this team. I also would like Travis Hamnick. Um, so Hamnick, we're just going to offer you a one-year deal at uh, 4.7 uh, point which is a 25 mil more 25,000 more and Barry we're just going to do the same thing with you just a one-year contract 4.85 we'll give you 4.9 uh, TJ Brody just a one-year deal 4.65 give you 4.7 because you want more money and then Petriangelo there yeah there's there's not really much we can do of just like offer him all the money we have in the world which isn't quite a lot at the moment so let's advance up the day last day of resigning uh, it was an easy decision to renew my contract with you Hamnick resigns uh, Brody rejects Petriangelo rejects uh, and Barry rejects they all rejected because they want more money we do get Hamnick though uh, we got 4.15 million dollars left in cap space um, I might as well try to use it on Montour. I mean, maybe we can get some kind of compensation. Maybe I, I'm going to let Montour stay in free agency for a little bit. And then, uh, and then we'll either match something for him. Um, we'll either match something for him or we'll, we'll take over and, uh, make an offer ourselves for him. So let's take a look at who are the available free agents this year. Anthony Mantha, Taylor Hall, Barzell, Petriangelo. Oh, it's a stacked free agency class. No one wanted to stay with their team after this COVID pandemic. Oh, my jeez. Anthony Sorelli. There's a lot of restricted free agents. That is going to be for sure. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, restricted free agents, you're just stacked. Like, tons of restricted free agents are available. Unrestricted free agents available, though. Let's take a look here. We'll go by overall. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. We got $4.15 million to work with here. 
And I think we need to go after some AHL players to begin with. Uh, AHL, without a doubt, needs to be addressed. So we're going to go two-way contracts. Uh, not goalies. Two-way contract. Yeah. So two-way contract. Goalies. Uh, we just need someone with good potential who's an other goalie. Who who's can kind of just sit back. Uh, is that going to be this guy? E2 Makinemi. I mean, possible starting potential. We'll only have to sign him for a one-year deal. He's 21. Yeah, we'll sign him. We'll sign him. He's that other goalie, so, I mean, he's not going to be playing at all unless there's injuries, uh, which is part of the reason why we're signing him. So there we go. We'll get a goalie on a two-way contract. Uh, right, oh, there's right and left defenseman now. I did not know that. Huh. That is pretty freaking neat. Nice. All right, so let's go and take a look and see what we have. Uh, da, 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 contracts. Uh, defensemen. All right, so one, two, three. Yeah. I would like another defenseman. So that's where we're going to spend a lot of our money. Uh, top defenseman. Mm-hmm. All right, DeMello could be it. Sort by overall. I'm going down. Mike Stone, Sammy Vatnin. All right, left defenseman. Dano Chara, TJ Brody again. I'm thinking Sammy Vatnin or Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Mm hmm. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go with Trevor Van Riemsdyk as our extra defenseman. We we know we can afford him. A two-year contract is probably about right for him. Uh, 2.25, that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, as far as our AHL team goes, it, sh it shouldn't be too hard for us to really try to stack up on some younger talent here. Um, I mean, we can always come back later. Once free agents start to clear out. Ooh. Vili Sarajev. Medium. He's supposed to be a medium elite. I don't actually believe it. But I will try to take it nonetheless. There's also McCowan here. Ronald McCowan. Uh, not going to be interested in you though. Right wings. Right wings, AHL, two ways. Ronan, no sin. Yeah, Matt Luff, give you a two-way contract. Uh, Gagne, Gabriel Gagne, medium top nine potential. Mm, power forward. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, hmm. Yeah, we'll sign Gabriel. We'll sign Gabriel as well. We're kind of weak in the right wing department. So we'll sign just about all of you guys. Just one year contract for you. And then, yeah, that's where we'll hold. That's where we'll hold for you guys. All right, left wings now. Got to offer a contract to both these guys. Uh, Erickson. Yeah, I want to make sure I win this bid. So we're going to do max offer. We're just going to max offer him. And then we'll go. Yeah. We'll go you because you can play center as well. I'll sign Barkle. Center is here. 
Take Karlstrom, uh, Vertanen, uh, Spockett, Michael Spockett. Yeah, Sorella. Aleski Sorella. Yes, 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 yes. Aleski Sorella. So there we go. So that'll be it. And now that's going to be it for a little bit anyway. Sim to next season. Uh, Gagne accepts. Awesome. Harbor Watch accepts. Erickson accepts. Carlson accepts. Macanims. Cool. Uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk was extremely happy to accept my offer. Uh, Barcel was happy to accept. Ryan Kufner. Lesky Sorelli, I, I appreciate the interest, but I've said I go with another team. Fuck you. Uh, Logan O'Carly, cool. Matt Luff, awesome. Travis Hamnick for two thirds. Uh, no. No. And now let's stop. All right, let's stop and take a look at how our team is filling out, anyways. All right, so. Let's go. First off, goalies. Yep, Markstrom with quick. And then down below, we'll get McIntyre with Gergiev. Cool. Uh, defenseman, one, two, three, boom. And then in the system, one, two, three. So one more defenseman down, two more defensemen. Yeah, two more defensemen need to be signed. Uh... Two more defensemen, one minor league right wing, uh, one minor league right wing, and I think I want to sign a depth center, yeah, I'm thinking sign a depth center as well, yeah. So two defensemen, one right wing, and a depth center is what we're now looking for. Uh, so let's go two-way contracts. We'll start off with the defenseman. We'll sign one left, one right. Um, Brandon Manning, no. Uh, sort by potential, nothing. Hmm. <laughs> White. Colton White. There we go. We'll sign Colton White to a one-year contract. And come over to the right side. Pollock, no. Yaros. Nah, Ryan Mantha. And Eric Cernak. Yeah, we'll sign both. Cernak and Mantha will both be signed. So there we go. Sign a right winger now. Rodenberg. There you go. Just a one year contract. And then we need a depth center. Shouldn't be too hard to find. UFA. Yeah. Stunland. Where would he fit for a slime penalty kill? That would work. Miko Koivu. But we don't need that. We need a depth guy. Sort by roll. Anthony Sorelli is a UFA. Are you serious? Offer him a contract. I didn't know he was a UFA. Offer him a contract. There you go. Uh, and that that would pretty much figure out everything. I think our depth guy might be Curtis Lazar. Yeah. Curtis Lazar is going to be our depth center pickup. All right, sim to next season. See what we're able to pick up here. Uh, Anthony Sorelli is extremely happy to accept our offer. Your cast of offer is most generous. Ryan Manth is extremely happy. Colin Weiss happy. Rodenberg's happy as well. And Curtis Lazar is a very happy man. And Cernak. All right, so that's going to be it for the free agency part for where we're with what our team's going to do. So let's get on up to the season. Take a look at the line, see who we want in our NHL, who we want in our AHL. Could be good. So roster management, there we go. So that means we're usually at the end of the simulation. So let's see here. No.
There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto mundo. Let's take a look at the roster moves. This is where we're officially going to find out where we want who. Uh, and it's important that we take a look at our coaches, too. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't think we're going to be able to replace our coach this year. I like offensive-minded coaches. So if our guy's offensive-minded, it will work to our advantage. So it might actually be better... If I just take a look right now at our coaching staff, who do we have here? We have a defensive style A minus head coach. Okay. Um, what other head coaches are available? Are there any NHL head coaches available? There are, but they're all minor league. NHL, nope, no head coaches. AHL head coach. Yeah, there are AHL head coaches though. I would want a forwards guy. 47 years of age. Matthew Paris. No. 45. How, how young is young? Oh, he's 49. Yeah, that guy is not going to get to Young's level. Chornis, though. Chornis is Chornard. He's 47. He does have the forward idea, so we could just groom him. Yeah, I think we groom him to becoming our head coach and replace Young. I think that's how we're going to have to work it. Yeah, we're going to have to do a complete overhaul of pretty much our scouting and coaching staff once uh, yeah, we're going to have to completely overhaul this staff. I might do that in between episodes and just show you guys what I did. Um, we're actually going to do a lot of things in between episodes. I'm going to edit the lines, show you guys at that. Uh, contract extensions, maybe start some of that. Uh, but the whole goal of this series really uh, is because the NHL isn't playing right now is I'm going to follow this team uh, just, like I, just like in real life every single day. Uh, so October 13th with this series, you can expect a video with Pittsburgh and then 14th Nashville, the 16th against the Florida. You can always expect a game. Uh, some games it's going to be me commentating some games. It's going to, I think I'm going to do every other game. Every other game is going to be me commentating. Mm. I think that, I think that that's probably going to be the best is if every other game, uh, I commentate that way I don't get too tired out from talking I can I can get a rest uh, and also you guys get to experience some of the the uh, talking with the commentators now this is how this series is gonna work we're gonna we're gonna go by just like in real life uh, the only thing is uh, once this season is over we are going to switch this over to the main franchise series and what I uh, which what I mean by that is we are going to have another franchise series going up as soon as the NHL season actually begins and the uh, EA sends out a roster update. I don't want to start a real franchise now, which is why I'm starting this one, uh, because the rosters aren't truly out quite yet. So with all this said and all this done, boys... Uh, I'm going to go into the roster management screen, and before we get into game number one of the season against Pittsburgh, uh, I will go over what our team has done and what we're planning on doing. So, until next time, guys, see you all later. Bye-bye.